Gemini Divine Soul, how are you? My name is Vince and welcome to 7D Tarot. Today I will channel some messages for you and if they resonate, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with your angels and me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective catered toward we empaths, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box. Now let's dive right in, Gemini. See what we got going on for you. We got the nine of swords, six of swords. Look at that. Ten of wands and the two of wands. Expect someone to discover you. Expect someone, someone to to see something in you and want to invest in you, mentor you. Someone is gonna see that spark, that beautiful, vibrant energy that you have and they're gonna to wanna to help you. I do feel like this person is gonna take you to the next level and therefore you will move on to greener pastures and leave the past. You've been waiting for someone to come out of their way to guide you. You've been waiting for someone to invest in, invest in something with you or show you a way or give you a job or do all the good things, right? Now is the time. You deserve this. First and foremost, I want you to fully understand that you deserve this. You are someone that everyone would be lucky to be around, okay? You have beautiful vibrations. You have such a good soul. You don't have a bad bone in your body. Everyone would be honored and, and really be, be, be lucky to have you in their life. I want you to understand this using the law of assumption. Assume this. Of course, someone would want to work with me because I would want to work with them. Of course, someone would discover me. Why would not? Because I have something to give. Very, very important. You have this, Gemini. Trust me. You are my sister. You're my brother. I'm telling you right now, you have this. Believe in yourself right here. Now, when we let this person come into our life, we have to be able to woo them and impress them. We have to dangle a carrot in front of them. That's how it works. I invest in a lot of people on a daily basis. I go out of my way, leaving my comfort zone to help them. And that's what's happening to you. Progress is going to be made. Now, why am I doing this? Because I see something in them, right? I'm not doing this because, you know, they're cute. So I'm not doing this because, you know, it's Wednesday and I want to help someone on Wednesdays. No, I see something in them, right? I see potential. So what does this person see in you? You have to understand that. For most likely, the energy that I'm picking up is that you remind them of someone. You remind them of something in their life and they feel like you have the potential for them to help change, uh, for them to be able to help you. They seem to have a very good head on their shoulders and they seem to be doing well in life. And right now, there's something about you that's going to spark you know, an energy that they connect with and they're gonna wanna help you. Now, during this time, all you have to do is clear the way for spirit to set this up. What does this mean? You have to feel good. When you are energetically feeling good, it is telling spirit, I am ready for this opportunity. Imagine when you feel good, green light is on. When you feel bad, red light is on. When the red light is on, nothing happens, right? Because spirit only gives you as much as you can handle. Just like you, if you have a friend and your friend's like, hook me up with this other friend romantically or even like with your boss so I can get a job, you are only going to do it when you think they are going to succeed. When, when, they are feeling good. They got the best shot of, of succeeding, right? Same thing with spirit. So green light needs to be on in order for opportunities to come, right? What's the green light? Feeling good. So what does that mean? First and foremost, 10 of wands, I could tell right now you have to prioritize your energy, right? Share some responsibilities, unload the burdens. You're doing too much right now and it's taxing you, it's not sustainable. This could be physically, this could be emotionally, spiritually, this could be through business or work. Whatever it is you're doing, you're doing a little too much. You can tell because you feel taxed. You can tell because you tell it's not sustainable long-term. Share the responsibilities. If you're at work and you're, you're the CEO, the advertiser, you're doing the advertising, the sales, and you're the janitor as well, you're doing everything, share the responsibilities, right? Just, you have to, you have to prioritize your energy. Same thing applies to friendships. If you have 10 different friends, but only two of them are real, friends that really understand relationships are two-way streets, focus on those two friends. Hang with people that raise your vibrations, doesn't lower your vibrations. Again, this could be anything, ideology, mind state, habit. You have to figure out what is working and what is not working in your life and you can tell what it is because it feels good and feels bad, right? Now, on top of that, whatever's going on at nighttime, I can tell there's a little bit of insomnia from some shadows and you're thinking of your problems at night, Gemini, we all go through this, nighttime comes, rather than sleep, we try to figure out our problems. This has got to stop immediately, right? Because we're brainwashing ourselves for failure the next day. On top of that, it's just like being addicted to fear, right? And we don't want that. So what do we do? Right now, you are going to get discovered. When this person discovers you, they have to see something in you. When someone sees something in you, they, like for instance, when I invest in someone, I wanna see someone who's loyal, I wanna see someone who's optimistic, I wanna see someone who has potential. I could care less if they have money, I have money to invest. I could care less if they have a product, I have products. I don't care, I want 
them, right? So this person wants you. Now, you, what you bring to the table is your beautiful essence, but your superpowers are your spiritual powers. This is what sets you apart. This may seem normal to you. You're like, oh, who the heck cares about that? You would be surprised. I'll give you an example. When you go for a walk along the beach or for you know at the park, and you see someone just sitting there meditating, you immediately tell yourself, wow, that person's a winner. Look at them go. I'm here on my phone, and look at them meditate. They're connecting to their higher self. They must have their ish together, right? It's in our DNA. Your soul is saying that, going, you should meditate, right? Let's do this. So it's in our DNA. So what seems normal to you is actually very impressive to the general public. Same thing here. Whoever this person is, they seem to be a businessman, businesswoman. They seem to have that part unlocked. But the fact that you are connected to spirit, the fact that you're watching this reading right now, do you know how far ahead you are? And this is your vibrance. This is your energy. And for example, when I met my wife, Alicia, this is what attracted me to her. So the fact that she was connected to spirit, I already knew how to do business. I was already gung-ho tiger ready to take on the world. I had that wand's energy. She had the cup's energy. Peanut butter and jelly, we make the perfect sandwich. Now, Spirit is also telling you with this Knight of Cups, eight of Pentacles, six of Pentacles next to the Fool, you got to take the leap of faith. So you got to trust. Because I do feel like some things happened in the past that may have not gone accordingly. Maybe some people made some promises that didn't come through. Therefore, you know, there's limiting beliefs from shadows that got created by you not trusting to other people because they didn't follow through on their word. Completely normal. We all go through this. We have people who've let us down before in the past. But Spirit is telling you in order for you to find the success that you're looking for, you have to network. So right there, the Eight of Pentacles lets me know that you are going to be successful. But I do feel like you have to take the leap of faith, right? You cannot hesitate. You cannot second guess yourself or this other person when it feels right. And I'm not telling you to trust anyone. Do your due diligence, right? But on top of that, when it feels right, because it will, that Knight of Cups lets me know your intuition will guide you and that you will get a very good feeling from this person that it's essential that you listen to it. Because if you listen to it, you will be rewarded and good things come. With risk comes reward, right? But good calculation risk, not just bold, you know, blind risk. You will get the rewards you're looking for. This person will help change your life. This person will help bring inner peace to you. This, will, this person will help fulfill your life's purpose because they will help monetize your passion. So therefore, you'll have more time in your life to do what you love, right? I'll give you an example. Every day I meet someone new. It doesn't matter where I am. I could be in a coffee shop, right? I'll give you an example. If you're in a coffee shop and the next time you want to just raise your vibrations, let the person behind you go in front of you, especially if there's a big lineup. Now, this takes courage. This takes gusto, right? No one does this. So you can imagine when you do this, when you actually do this, it makes a big impression. All you have to do is turn around and be like, you know what? I'd like to let you go ahead of me today. Go ahead. And that person will be like, whoa, why? Why would you do this? They'd be like, I don't know. I feel very good energy from you. Please, by all means. Now, when you do this, the entire coffee shop's going to be like, wow, look at this person leading by example. That's so awesome. The entire energy of the coffee shop changes. Now, at that point, you have opened the invitation for coffee conversation with anybody, right? Now everyone might come up to you and be like, oh, you know, great coffee. I ordered the same thing, blah, blah, blah. It's basically telling everyone, uh, raising a white flag saying, hey guys, let's be friends. Super duper easy. No skin off your back, but it takes confidence. I'm letting you know you can do this. I do this all the time. Now, when you do this, again, not only are you grabbing new energy from the, from the universe, you know, helping you lift your spirits, but you're also letting everyone in that coffee shop know that you are a what? Go-getter, leader, nice person, good vibrations, know how to play the game and a winner. So if someone is there who is a CEO of a company or has a business who wants that type of person, they are going to approach you because they are a leader and they capitalize on situations. They appreciate someone that has good vibrations more than you can imagine. Because remember, what am I looking for? I'm not looking for money when I invest in someone. I'm not looking for a product. I'm looking for that individual. This person will see that in you. This is a simple trick. There's thousands of tricks you could use, right? But this is a simple trick. When you do this, you are trading the scarcity mindset of fear of doing nothing and basically feeding your ego. That's all you're doing. You're feeding the dragon, right? Feeding your ego. I'm not going to do anything because of fear. And your ego gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just like, imagine your ego as an ugly green gremlin. It is not you. When I see the word ego, imagine the most ugly thing you could imagine, whatever's ugly in your mind. Picture that, right? That is your ego right there. You want nothing to do with that. Don't feed that thing, right? Instead, feed your soul. Now picture this lion. That is you with your soul, that inner lion, that strength within you. That is what you want to feed. Feed it love, feed it love, feed it love. Why? Because when you feed it love, that love turns into abundance. And then we got this.
All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, subscribe, and comment. I can't wait to your next reading. Till then, I'll say bye, but we'll chat soon.